Nusra Front massing its fighters near Nairab military airport in eastern Aleppo. Short on ammunition and weapons, they say most of these short-range rockets are homemade. <laughs> Our fighters control all the entrances to the military airport. We are striking the Syrian army positions and our main goal is to cut off their reinforcements and supplies to this area. A helicopter flies over the area. Undeterred, Nusra Front fighters say they have anti-aircraft weapons to repel any attack from the sky. Nobody knows the exact number of Nusra Front fighters in Syria. Their commanders are tight-lipped about their recruits and the foreign fighters among them. We are fighters dedicated to the support of the oppressed. The Syrians have been betrayed by the world. We are one of many factions fighting in Syria, but we have no links with any foreign group. Syrians are Muslims and our goal is to establish an Islamic state where justice will prevail. Nusra Front fighters are widely regarded as the best and most disciplined rebel groups in Syria. But most of the time leading the fight against government troops in most of the battlefields and are credited for playing a major role in some of the significant gains made by the opposition. They're also best known for their signature suicide attacks. In this video posted by the Nusra Front, a suicide bomber with a North African accent drives a truck packed with explosives and blows up in what Nusra Front says was a checkpoint in the outskirts of the city of Hama. Little is known about their leader, Abu Muhammad Al-Fatih Al-Jawlani. He delivers audio tapes from time to time, like this one, where he calls Muslims to join the Nusra Front. The U.S. has recently designated the group as a terrorist organization with links to Al-Qaeda in Iraq, a move dismissed by the main opposition group, the Syrian coalition, whose leaders are wary of the blacklisting of a major ally could undermine their chances to win the fight against Bashar al-Assad. Hashim al-Barra al-Jazeera, Antakya.